cardinals are the pope's main advisors. They're also the ones who choose a new pope in a conclave during the so-called sede vacante period. The word derives from the Latin cardo, meaning hinge or fulcrum. They're appointed directly by the pope, and not always because of any particular merits. In fact, that's why the verb made is often used to describe their elevation to cardinal. Cardinals make up a group of bishops who work directly and in a very special way with the Holy Father in what is basically the government of the Universal Church. Cardinals are the Pope's direct and immediate advisors. The occasion when the Pope officially elevates the new cardinals is called a consistory of cardinals, and at the ceremony, they're given a ring and a red beretta. The cardinal's ring symbolizes unity, so it represents the cardinal's marriage with the church. They're called princes of the church because they're the closest collaborators of the pope, a title and a recognition that is also evident in the red sash and beretta. In addition, the color is unique and it distinguishes them from others. Red reminds them that they're willing to die for Christ and his church, ready to shed their blood for it. It's a special recognition that brings with it also a great responsibility. Cardinals wear red because it's a way to express that they're always ready and willing to die for Christ, for the faith, for the church. In short, they're ready to be martyrs. The cardinals often lead major dioceses in the world, but their unique responsibility is voting in a conclave. It's part of an election process that's carried out under the strictest secrecy. Failure to comply can even result in excommunication. A maximum of 120 cardinals under the age of 80 can vote in the conclave to elect the new pope of the Catholic Church. All cardinals have this extremely delicate responsibility. It's very important because really it's something decisive for the church. And of course, choosing the future pope, it's extremely important. And although it's not as well known to the public, cardinals also have the privilege of being able to request an audience with the pope.